Hey there. I'm starving. Yeah, me too. Great. Go make me something while you're at it. I think there might be bagels in the fridge. Would definitely check expiration dates on anything. Before you think about putting it in your mouth. Morning, Alfred. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. I hadn't heard from you. I didn't know what happened if... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to worry you, Alfred. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. I always fear the day you don't come home, Bruce. I know, Al. Where are you, anyway? I, uh... I stayed at Selena's last night. Oh. Well, that... Certainly explains it. You got something to say, Alfred? I'm not judging you. Sounded like you were. I wouldn't dream of it. While you're there, this might be a good opportunity to learn more about Miss Kyle. After all, we really don't know anything about her. See what you can find lying around. If she's trustworthy, you may not have another chance. Yeah, um... That's a smart idea. I'll see what I can find. At the very least, you can find that grapple gun of yours. Right. That might be harder than you'd think. She doesn't share your love of organization. Yes, well, I'll see you back at home, Bruce. Scarlet Pimpernel, much ado about nothing. Petrarca. <laughs> Didn't take her for a romantic. What's this one? Oh, the Gita Govinda. That's... Academic. Her cat eats like a queen while she's eating chunk. Pretty strong magnets on these things. Very lightweight, though. They could use something like this. She can afford to eat anywhere, and she still chooses Chinese takeout. Money isn't even the good place. Vacation spots or just marks on her burglary checklist? It looks all right to me. Nothing growing, at least. At least she's got the essentials. breakfast. C can I come in? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Just for a minute. I really need to talk to you. If you want me to go, I'll go. But I have to get this out. Bruce? What the... Seriously? What are you doing here? Have a seat, Harvey. No! I don't need to sit down. I just came by to check on Selena. What, with your pants off? Back off, Harvey. Don't! Don't touch me! I thought I would come here and... So stupid! God, I should have known. I should have known that you would do this to me. None of it was real anyway. God, how could you ever think it was? 
None of this is about you, Harvey. It's... I'm just making this up? Yes, you are. This had nothing to do with you. He... He will not be able to protect you. And I don't need him to. Just... Get out of here, Harvey. What happens when the children of Arkham come for him? You think you won't get caught in the crossfire? You can't stop them! He can't. I can handle the children of Arkham. <laughs> of course. Yeah, Bruce Wayne can do anything. Everything Harvey couldn't. He thinks he's so much better! I'm sorry. What the hell is going on with you? Up until now, Harvey has been weak. He's been afraid. Oh my god. This... This is the monster they all know that you are. Embrace it! No! No! No, oh god, this is what you wanted to see, isn't it, huh? The freak! Harvey... Now you've got two seconds. Or what? Harvey won't be pushed around anymore. No, he's gonna make them pay. Everyone who thought they could hurt him and get away with it. Starting with you. Both of you! You're gonna pick that up. Who oh, am I? This isn't you. Just calm down! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Of course, gotta be fair about this. Can't play favorites. They both deserve it, one way or another. Uh, how about we flip for it? This isn't funny. No, no, it really isn't. Selena, looks like you're first. <laughs> getting in the middle of things. Stay the hell away from me. The call's already been made. Harvey. Bruce. No. I don't want to hurt you. This isn't... They turned their backs on you. Harvey, put the knife down. <sighs> Selena. <sighs> He's gonna hurt someone. You know we can take him out. Have you lost your mind? No. Harvey! You need to calm down. What are you doing? No going back now. Oh, God. Please. I don't want to be alone, Bruce. Please, not with him. But I can't. Oh, God, I can't listen to him. You need to get help. You can't deal with this on your own. I know. Yeah, I know, I know. My fault. Harvey, don't. Bruce, I... I don't think we can help him. Not on our own. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. He's my friend, Selena. I'm not going to abandon him. He needs professional help. Help you can't give it's him. It's okay, Bruce. I'll go. I don't deserve your help. Go off with your tail between your legs. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Harvey! <sighs> so much for this place. I'm not gonna stick around and wait for him to come back. I thought it would be a while before I had to move again. <sighs> yeah, you're right. It's not safe to stay here.
And I'm not sure I'm gonna find another place with this kind of private access. Ugh. Maybe I'll live on a boat. <laughs> Kidding. Yeah. That means you too. We won't go far. Don't worry. Selena, I think you should get out of Gotham. It's not just Harvey. The children of Arkham are after you. It's not safe right now. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Great. What was that about? I'm supposed to announce my resignation at a press event today. Somehow try to appear happy that Oswald Cobblepot is taking my job. Sounds like an opportunity. How do you mean? They screwed you out of your own company. You have all this information that could bring them down, and they're handing you a live mic. So use it. Don't be their puppet. I need to warn everybody about the children of Arkham. They have big plans for Gotham. Hopefully they'll listen. You better get going. This is gonna be a while. Yeah. You, uh, you stay safe, all right? Same to you. I'm sorry about all this, Bruce. We've... Uh, we've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter. And then I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. Thank you for being so cooperative about all this, Bruce. It really is for the best. For everyone, really. I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please, right now, your reputation, your entire legacy, depends on your cooperation. Get through today, and I can help you. I can convince the board to bring you back. It might not be CEO, but it will be something. Of course, Regina. Whatever I can do to help. That's good, Bruce. Trust us to sort this all out. Everything will be fine. Already then, we are going to make quite a splash today, aren't we? I don't think I'm ever going to forget this day. Beautiful weather, corporate intrigue, a well-deserved comeuppance. Happy to be here too, Oz. Really? Thank you, Bruce. I appreciate you being such a professional. It's time. Bruce, I'm going to introduce you and then you're on. Please, stick to the teleprompter. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Isn't it funny? And we've always How everything I said to you in the park has come true. Me, taking everything that's yours. And that's not even a punchline. Oh, dear. Not even close. No one's going to follow you around and take pictures now. It'd always be sad if you were so bloody handsome. You're just a pawn, Oswald. And everyone knows that pawns are meant to be sacrificed. No, perhaps. But at least I, I get like the joy of watching your shocking so and surprising so descent first. Like this Wayne. is just a first step Please towards making things Wayne right. Soon enough, them, it'll be Cobblepot Industries, like Cobblepot Medical, and, and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings, and you, Waynes, no will be what you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham. What happens to my company is up to the board. I think you're a little deluded about the type of power you're gonna have. All in good time, all in good time. It's amazing the sort of patience I've developed over the years. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh yeah, and I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, Pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I'm sure you're just dying to hear it. I don't need to know why. Hill had them killed. That's all that matters. Well, I certainly didn't expect that. But suit yourself. 
Now you'll never know what part your mom played in it. And now, Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how much time you really have left. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, in light of recent allegations against my family, I have decided to voluntarily step down as CEO of Wayne Enterprises. I was horrified to learn of my father's corruption. I am ashamed of his actions and would like to apologize to Gotham for the pain he has caused so many of you. I'm sorry. That's it, mate. I have complete faith in the board as they work towards righting the wrongs of the past. My so-called replacement, Oswald Cobblepot, is a criminal, not a businessman. His entire history has been faked. <laughs> oh, very oh funny, my Bruce. God. No joke between friends. One moment, folks. Try that again, and I'll call security. Gotham is under threat. The children of Arkham will not stop Security! And... Step back, Mr. Wayne. Oh, that was quite a show you put on, Bruce. <clears throat> My apologies, folks. Please forgive me, Mr. Wayne. Everyone. I, for one, completely understand your behavior today. Nice After statement. All, he has worked the press seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. We can talk about it later. It must later? Quite hard. No. This Let needs to happen right now. It's not an easy thing, being something you've come Dropped your pen. Part of your That's not... <coughs> very being taken over by another. <sighs> I'm sure some of you you feel that? Form of That's the drug taking hold of you. Now it stands How could you? Retribution, Bruce. I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. And you already know the Penguin. Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking at the smug, insignificant bastard. He thinks he can get away with it. Because none of them know who he really is. They wouldn't believe you if you told them. And if we could just get one more round of applause for our friend, the man of the hour, Bruce Wayne! <sighs> Ouch, someone's a little touchy, it seems. It would be so easy to get rid of him. Who else will deliver justice? <laughs> <laughs>